perfect lawn. A bright green flag that tells the world and the neighbors you've achieved the American dream. USA! USA! From the tiniest LA front yard to the vast expanse of the White House lawn, from coast to shining coast, Americans are truly obsessed with turf. Barbecues, baseball, even impromptu musicals? It all happens on the lawn. But there's an ugly truth hiding behind America's glorification of grass. Lawns are damaging our planet, ruining our health, and wasting our time. The obsession has its roots in the manicured lawns of the European aristocracy. The fashion caught on with the elites on both sides of the pond before it was reinvented for the white middle class in suburbia. And now, lawn grass is everywhere. There's more lawn than any other crop in America, even corn. So the problems it causes, and there are many, become magnified. The most egregious one, water. Americans sprinkle so much water on their lawns every year that they could fill five million Olympic swimming pools. And of course, the drier the region, the more water needed to keep your neighbor jealous. Much of the American West is being fried by the worst mega drought in a millennium. For the first time ever, officials in Southern California are declaring a water shortage emergency and lawns are directly competing against farms, our food supply for scarce water. Some parched cities are so desperate, they're now sending out patrols to enforce watering bans with harsh fines. Outside the American West, sure, there is way more water, but there are also more problems. Most American lawn grasses aren't native to America, and they need a cocktail of fertilizers and herbicides to thrive. But herbicides can be really toxic. And millions of pounds of nitrogen fertilizers sprinkled over lawns every year, well, that's a massive source of carbon emissions. And nitrogen runs off into lakes and rivers, turning them into dead zones choked with toxic algae. And when all this lawn treatment is done attacking the planet, guess what it attacks next? You. You have to cut your lawn with, you guessed it, a gas-powered mower. These gas guzzlers churn out 5% of the nation's toxic air pollution. And anyone standing near one is inhaling that good stuff straight into their lungs. In fact, Americans in some cities can spend up to 50 days of their lives looking after lawns. And while that's something some people are into, I like mowing my lawn. That's still 50 days they'll never get back. Thanks, lawns. But get this, in spite of all the damning evidence, maintaining a manicured lawn is literally required by law in many municipalities. Punishments for not complying can be harsh. The city of Bloomington, Indiana, ruled that grass could be no longer than eight inches. Resident Alexander Gould sued because he wanted an eco-friendly, unmowed meadow instead. The case went to the state appeals court. Gould lost. Basically, the judges told him to suck it up and keep mowing. Lawns have a powerful hold on America. To break it, two things have to happen. The first is simple. Local laws need to be more progressive and get real about the climate emergency and encourage, not block, grass-free yards. The second is going to be a hard sell. It's time for all of us to fall out of love with our lawns. Now, a big breakup is easier if there are better prospects out there. I want to see other people. In the Nevada desert, a cash rebate scheme paid residents to remove 200 million square feet of grass and plant native vegetation that needs very little water and no mowing. It even looks good enough to make those European aristocrats jealous. Rainy Montgomery County, Maryland is just the kind of wealthy suburb where lawns rule supreme. But the county took a bold step and ended mandatory grass. Then they banned some pesticides, distributed free trees, paid cash incentives, and even made quit-your-lawn guides. Did that turn Montgomery into a scruffy, overgrown dump? Nope! 
Montgomery's residents transformed their yards into sustainable, low-maintenance meadow paradises. Ditch the lawn, and that could be you. Music